Hello everyone. Happy Monday. This is Nancy. Welcome back to our live tutorials brought to you by Glitz Assessing and such and dedication teams. Hope you all have a great Monday. Hey live rats, how are you? Thank you love for tuning in. It's somehow in the reason that's Monday and Tuesday we're doing live streams a little bit earlier. However, we have so many fun designs today and contents we are going to share with you. And if you have any questions, any recommendations or anything that you would like to um, let me know, we can absolutely, hey, we can absolutely fulfill your request. Hey Diva, hi Sandy, how are you? Sheredi, hello Tamika, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Smiley here. <laughs> hello, happy Monday. Hope everyone have a great Monday. We are going to do is really cool, is a new product today. Demonstrations, step-by-step -step tutorials from really basic to the advanced. Thank you so much, hi Tonys. Hello G Karen, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Manivar, hello. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, hope everyone have a great Monday. Thanks so much for tuning in. Happy Monday. Hi, Tina. Hello. Hi, John. How are you? Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. I can't wait to see all your smile. Hope your Monday is fabulous. If it not, make it the best of you what you can. Because... Is Monday or every day, whole day, every day of the week. If fabulous or not, is up to us. So if you think it's horrible, it's gonna be horrible. But if you think it's fabulous, it will be absolutely fabulous the way exactly what you think. So thanks so much, everyone. So today is gonna be excited. We of course gonna announce who the winnings, like the best name win of this um, tutorial set last Saturday we did. Yesterday, Vicky went live and it was so amazing. It's some tip and trick for really simple basics for the um, design for the nails. And if you haven't get chance to check her out her on her Facebook, Vicky Jensen, and she's going, she's have a um, giveaway going on as well. So if you name the set on her page, not on our Glitz page, but on her page to win um, the giveaway and the best names, you know, will might win so make sure to check her out Vicky Jensen hey Michelle how are you hi Vivian I just want to say hello to everyone hey Debbie <laughs> thank you Debbie yes I'm early today on Monday and Tuesday and then with a little bit longer stream so today we're gonna cover the new products also we'll do some liquid and powder and to support a lot of you who is doing with variety of different diverse like clients have a long nails and short nails and so many new charms that we have a lot of questions if we can able to do if we can able to do um on the nails because all the charms we have is absolutely is designed for the nails and you can do anything else like i put on my phone case i put on my uh brushes i put it on everything i put on my shoes as well so however whatever you would like to but especially for nails as well so let's um Lanavis, hello, thanks so much for tuning in. All right, Vicky, it's more beautiful and love and like I said. Thanks so much, Tina, for love and support. Hey, Mama Vic, hey, Perfectly Polished. So this is the four nails we did on Saturday for you. Hope you're really enjoying it. Um, this is some of the ways that I share, but however, we got to see so many beautiful work from all of you. Um, don't hesitate to tag your picture to us. Would love to see your beautiful work. So then we can absolutely have an opportunity to feature your beautiful works. This is the four nails that we did on Saturday. So let's go in. And another winner. I have the notes on my size right here. And congratulations, drum roll, to the winner. Hold on. I'll just need to get my notes right there. Congratulations to the winner. Live Rass is winning of the best name for the set. And here is, give me one second. I need to get the set's name. Uh, I think it was on there. No, 
uh, we need the set name is on that one right there can you give me to me right now there you go for the winner of the naming of the set is live arts congratulations and the set name is sweet love and she named the first one is cherry cheesecake number two nails is night in paris it looks cool though and number three is cherry chopsticks okay that's a really awesome and then number four is butterfly kisses congratulations and thank you so much everyone for tuning in or even participate and it was means a lot and it means the world to us because we got to create it for you nobody but you on and to support and additionals on your techniques and your skills and we hope being a part of your successful and your career that you chose so again if you miss like this giveaway they are going to be giveaway today and then we'll announce the winner tomorrow so we have a whole month of august so don't hesitate to this comment you can name so many names you're thinking of do not hesitate like if you're thinking something like you're doing a name today or now after we're done with live tutorials and we have the post and then and an hour later as you think something of some name that you really like also comment it too you can do so many if you want. There are no limits of what you can name. We don't look at the account. We look at the name. So just keep in mind that. Do not hear it says you can put 100 names in there. We don't like really count on the account. So we count on the name. And congratulations to the winner for live us. And uh, make sure you email us at info at glitzaccessoryandsuch.com with your name and your shipping address so the team can ship the prize to you and congratulations to the winner and to all of you, all beautiful names. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's move on to the next like set, which is a tutorial today. There are like requests to see something new. We have dropped the new Chan for Foy collection and this is, is uh, Rainbow Scales. Is, I have it right here, but I am going to do like more than just one nail. I just want to show you some sneak peek. This is the one I am so obsessed with this when I working on this product today along with the charm chains, whatever that you have with your um, crystal corner and your nail art corners, you absolutely can use, incorporate with this. It's so freaking easy, simple. I, You can do it from five minutes nail art with this. It can be really like five minutes or seven minutes, but then you can absolutely upsell your services of between 10, 12, $15 per nails. Really, really cool. And I will share your tip and trick with you. That's gonna be probably two segments. I'm trying to do one with all the nails in this, in one segment first. And then the second one I am going to do is liquid and powder for you. So and for all of you who do gel polish, poly gels, or heart gels um, you can absolutely achieve with this look so this is the ones that I just did look at that how ombre so I did the liquid and powder in like the colors I'm using is yellow I believe it looks so cool though it's ombre and then I put the nude on it however if you remember last week I did one of the tutorials with our like uh, rainbow Sir Louis series and I did colors so if you have the pink one you can absolutely get the pink colors if you have a green one you can have absolutely have the green colors on the ombre you don't have to be necessary with the nude however nude is really like in the game right now because a lot of clients having a hard time to choose a color so they chose nude a lot over a lot of other solid colors like me myself i have a hard time to pick the colors as well so every time if i have a hard time to pick the colors i always get the nude different enough shade of nude to back me up with a lot of clients like sometimes even you have a client send you a consultation and also sometimes they might it really rare if they send you a consultation for nails and they might change their mind so then just always direct them to the nude color so it makes them happy because they couldn't they couldn't make up their mind with different color because none of the color will make them happy then you can always like suggest them with the nude colors go with everything you never go wrong with that so i think is facebook get a little bit of offside right there 
Okay, so let's go into the nails today. I'm excited with the new charms. And this is one for the short nails and one for long nails. So today, our turn doing a long nails. I have all long nails prepped. So here's cool tip and tricks. If you are doing any of a solid color, I cut it already, okay? So I cut four colors. There are 10 different colors. So you will never go wrong with this. Doesn't matter. It's get all of the shade, the ombre shade, the color of your clients like. So I pick four of them. However, there are 10 of them. So you can pick so many and I'm so obsessed. So, so I pick, like say, for instance, if I pick the purple ones, I only ch I try to get the kind of um, same shade. When I have a purple lavender to go with this. Uh, it complements your uh, chanfer voice on it. And this one is green and blue ombre. I'm pick the green one because I'm gonna do decorations. I'm gonna do like um, charms and crystal placement on it. And this one, the yellow ones, I chose the yellow nails on it. So whatever colors of your nails that you are, uh, the gel polish that you have at yours, like um, your nail art corners, you can absolutely play with that and this one is a pink and purple that's cool so it doesn't matter I don't know how you want to do you can do upside down or you can do it like this it doesn't matter because if you do it upside down like this it means that your clients look in her on toward to her so it doesn't matter it never go wrong with this all right so let's get started because I'm so excited and I have two quarter of this already I am going to do is premium I hold chanfer foil. If you're using the chanfer foil from a white bottle, make sure you keep it for 60 seconds under proper LED lamp. I say proper, it means it had to keep it properly for you. Like the well, last two weeks, if you see me struggling with the, my LED lamp that I have to say bye to it because it was dead on me. So it doesn't matter how I try to rescue it, it doesn't work for me. So premium I hold chanfer foil. I do that a lot on the live stream because it only take me half a minute, which is 30 seconds. So they should, oh, they should, oh, good, good ideas. Live us, keep, um, well, it doesn't matter. You can do a clear as well. You can do a clear as well. But the reason is I like this one so much. You know why? Because it's not solid. Um, that's a good poise. Live us want a clear look, but this is how I like a lot about this because it have ombre. So even though, like for instance, the clients just want to chant for voice like kind of a rainbow scale like this, and you can do even like a chant for this one before I put crystal on, it looks so stunning. It's all, it did the work for me. So it did all the ombre for me. So then you don't have to spend like maybe half an hour to try to blend the color. And it makes your work so much easier because then you can able to do more nail art, I guess. And instead of spend half an hour, cause sometimes like this, you will have to think like this. It's really depend on the clientele if they're willing to be like pay $30 per nail art because it take you longer, right? You can't chalk, you can't be pricing the clients. I'm gonna do 30 seconds for this. You can't price the clients for like half an hour of your work for $5 nail art. It means that you're under chalk for your services and your skills, your techniques and your products and you're being frustrated that why you work so hard and you didn't ever make a business like working. You see what I mean? So I didn't have another like talking and consult about how I did consult the clients that I have, the clients that will come in and looking at our like hand painted roses. And um, uh, can I get one of that one to frame right? So like it's take me time because I have to uh, note the frame, the black frame, both of them, three of them. Um, I have to spend time to mixing the colors and then to um, have custom the color from a darker to the lighter so that it feeding with what I need for the painting so it take a little bit more time and when it do like this it doesn't look like precise like you have a chamfer foil or sticker of course because it naturally creates you know but then like something like this but then each nails like this will be you know a good uh between 25 30 dollars uh belief or not and yes and then i do have a client say yes nancy absolutely i will pay for it but then if there's some clients that want something is really cool cute fun 
and in really quick but then they couldn't like do $30 per nails and you have another alternative and then you can do chan for four you can do stickers which is mean it's not like something you cheating it's something that it will more efficiency for you like it mean you get the clients in and out in five ten minutes but then you can charge them good accordingly ten dollars instead of you are charging them too expensive or less so it's fair for you and fair for the clients in my pop opinions so after 30 seconds, I'm gonna press this one on. Ooh, my hands have an oil. Okay, so if you wanna make sure that you can avoiding a lot of crease, make sure you get it right in the center. It's gonna be excited segment today. And is this is for you, nobody but you. I'm so obsessed with this and I'm waiting to the seconds like um, stream move going and then we're gonna do on the lipican powder to support all of you who is look at that I do have it because I want to do crystal placement here <sighs> all right so should we do all of them and then go back to crystal placement okay let's do that then in the meantime I'm killing this I am going to do a crystal placement on uh, the first one. So going to like like have a pink. Okay. So hope everyone have a great Monday. How's everyone's Monday so far? My Monday is busy. I don't know if ever I'm gonna sit still because I'm just like. I'm just like so active I feel like if I'm sit still I'm feeling like I'm sleepy or I'm getting lazy so I've tried to be productive okay here this one for 30 seconds and I am using it right now is premiums I hold chan for four let me do another ones on Chanfer Foy in the white bottle. I'm gonna do one of this for you to see. Hey Sophia, hey Am, how are you? Hey RB, hey CC. Oh, it's just stick on my Nene. Hello Tina. Hello Nene's. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. Hope everyone have a fabulous Monday. We just announced a winner and then make sure you are. Um, Tuning in with the second set, what well, with this set after we go live, then you get to name it as well. So clear this one for one minute. So when you using that, the white bottles, make sure you clear for one minute to sixty seconds under LED light. Hi, Eric. Hello, love. How are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Sing it, Nancy. What sing live at? All right, so this one done. This yellow one done. It has so many different colors though. You mean live batch? You mean I'm singing if I'm just sit still and I don't get to do or whatever it is? I don't know, I'm not the good voice though. I think I gotta practice. Get back to it. Hey Ari, how are you? House of Glitter, hello Mimi. Feel like if you have a lot of oil, which is I have it on my hands right now, I can't feel it. I doing it just using that uh, dual end tweezer, and it take care for me. But good, it doesn't have the chanfer foil here. I did half like seventy percent, so it chanfer exact where I want. I think it's sticky on the. But it's only because I'm gonna doing the crystal placement. First one, second one, first one, really interesting. And going to the pink. Oh, can I get? Hold on, I get this pink. Maybe I should cut this pink to blending it. Maybe pink this one. Oh, maybe this one. This one looks cute. Oh, this one looks good. So I changed my mind because the other one have purple and this one is pink. So 
See, sometimes things ship it, but it's okay. We'll just go with the flow. All right, this one is a pink one. Just go with the colors that I chose. However, I think uh, live brush you can do clear though. You can do even the client's clear or like soft nude color because it's already colors for you. So it saves us like a good few minutes step though. You know, you see what I mean? Now you can do this and it's already color for you. All right. It look like I have, I don't have enough. Uh, where my channel for you? Okay, the key is this one for 60 seconds. Okay, in the meantime, you, can, you can't sing for life. Do clear one for me. Good. Not on point. Okay, I'm missing everyone. <laughs> okay. So I will ask him. He can help me with that. Okay, so then I'm waiting for that. And in the meantime, I am going ahead and using condensed glue gel to doing a crystal placement. Of course, my forever. Which one did I go first? I think this one, the one I go first. So for all of you who is know exactly where you're gonna place your crystal is, I think it's great. But if you are not sure, you can absolutely apply like me. It doesn't take so much time, but I blend them all nice. So it's not looks like it bulky or thicker than uh, usually. It actually it's not. It's just to make sure that I can get to crystal of wherever I want, because sometimes I decide to get the crystal on some space some spot and then i change my mind and add more on it you know me it's like i always add more than i supposed to so don't forget to no wipe top coat the no wipe and condensed glue gel unkeer which is i didn't put any keer or i didn't key it yet and we're gonna floating on the top I'm so excited so we're trying to go by theme now so everyone can have fun name the set and that's gonna be so much fun and so pretty yes mamita thank you so much this one like you can leave it like this you can do it in like in um different way so let's see what i have it in here I really, I really like this though. <gasps> Oop, it's kind of heavy. Ah, so adorable. I think, I think I need the, my white opal right there. Wait, wait, wait. can you, right here. Please, thank you. Sorry. I have so many. I picked few of them today to feature this because a lot of you were asking how I can do this. Pink one is fine. There's a lot of them there. I think I need the white one. Oh, right here. Sorry. Gotcha. So you can do kind of a contrast color to really like incorporate together. So if you are not sure like how you can place your crystal, this is really simple concept. As long as you get them really uh, close together, 
they should be able to turn out really nice, I promise. One of my charms right there. Can you get me my charms section right there? This one right here. Another one, sorry. No, that was here. Sorry, I just organized all everything that I have organized on the one side. That's why when I change ship a little bit, um, this one right here. When I changing my mind for a different color for you, then I have to get the new one out. So bear with me because this is happened at the salon too. Have you ever had that? Like the client's doing it one on is he? Can you add this one on instead of that? Said, sure. So I'll just go with the flows because that's make it really cool. The client's happy and guess what? They love it and they are doing it more and they give you good tips. Just try the starfish, but it's not. I will promise to just do this part first. It's really simple, right, everyone? Right. I'm gonna put some beads on it. If your clients don't want beads on, it's absolutely fine. You can just like play the crystal wands, organize it and like adjusting it. Make sure they are closed tight together and cure for 60 seconds using precision glue to double secure and they are good to go. But if they want to like make it really like a fun, like a fancy fun nails, you can absolutely do something to make it like more dramatic I guess I don't know how you call that like fancier I know have you ever like have a client to get it and then they will like Oh, can you add this one more or can you add more crystal on it? Yeah, sure. So if they are prepaying it, they usually just pay the different of what they are have the balance left, that's all. That's how we do with our clients. We're not gonna say no to them, but if we're our time frame allow, then we are create something that's like more for them. So let me here this one if you're happy with this because I try not to like take away from that so I don't I got something that I really want to what is this one one Can you able to find me another one, please? Sure. A shell like that. I think it's in here. A right. small shell? Yeah. It's cool. Ooh. 
There's so many of them in here. Well, I mean, there's a bigger one. Mm -hmm. There's another set of it. Uh, I need a smaller one. Definitely. It's funny because today is weird because I have two things. Alright, it's okay. Don't have it. I found something alternate. Not a big deal. If I'm happy with this, clear this one. Before that, you're gonna adjusting it. Make sure all your crystal are closed tight together. This is really simple. You got to see me doing live, so then you get some preference of the technique. When you get to your clients, it take you like no time. You can get this in like no problem at all. And it just take a little bit longer because, of course, customer changing their mind and then we're changing a different someone using a piece of paper do not using your raw hand if you have if you are on gloves you have a gloves on then you can wipe with your gloves um, but if not using a piece of paper so then you don't have is like your hand touching on the unclear products um, and then if you're happy with this I love it that how this piece of a metal or hand charm is so cute it has a crystal along on the side so obsessed with this I want to wear that on my nails here for 60 seconds oh this one has been waiting for me and this one the one that we keep for 60 seconds that we apply with our white bottles it's only it's not rubbing on to wherever I'm not applying the the foil but if you have the chan for foil gel it should creeping really nicely hold on you can see that how it's come right off it's only this that I didn't apply the gel on it so it doesn't stay on but not a big deal because I'm gonna shape it to make it even all right, move on to the next nails. That's quite fun on the first nails. Uh, which one do I do? This is the second nails. All right, so this second nails, let's go into the second nails. I am going ahead and using is, hello, Daisy, hey, how are you? Katoni, hello, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in, love. Um, of course, this is really thick density. Hello, Karina. How are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, Facebook and Instagram for the love and support. Oh, this really simple tutorials. You got to see me going live. You also get... Okay, I think I did it the nails that I did just finish. I didn't realize it. I said, wait a minute. It's not yellow. It's green. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Go with the flow. <laughs> I'm not gonna give up one. I just already put there on the green one. But you got to see me doing live stream because it's all tip and trick. If you have questions during this time, you can ask me. Uh, Cho, um, Daisy, what happened with you? That we did you using the same bottle that I just did? And I transferred this using this bottle. Kia 60 second, which is a white bottle. If you have the premium, which is to me, in my opinions, I love both of them but one it just if i in the time frame it's key really fast and it work really cool i will pick the premiums however if you have more like flexible time you can using a white bottle which is key 60 seconds because uh, you teal it so it's good, good. all right so 
Don't forget to using a no wipe top coat on this nail. This is a look for the first nails. There you go. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, I think I want to do some neon color on this one. Um, can I have that neon right there? Pear shape. So if you want to make sure how you can do, it's really cool and simple. Huh? I like the hot pink. I don't care. It's really cool. There are the charms for this though. Which one are you looking for? Uh, hold on. I think, okay, I found it. I said, wait, I do have a charm for that one. There you go. I found my charm tray. I was like, where is that at? Sometimes it's right in front and you don't see it. To just let you know that I found it. Hope everyone have a great Monday. Thank you so much for even making some time to tuning in. Hope this tutorial will help so much for you. As it's really quick, simple for you. Some of the design you could like created at the salons for your clients so I'm working a lot with the frame and uh, metal parts I mean metallic art and charms I'm trying to find a matching one which is be funny it's one of the fun day uh, thank you let's use a smaller one I can find the smaller one, but I find something cute for this one. So, uh, my tray. Place some of my gold beads. You can do silver. You can do uh, obsidian. I, I am excited the obsidians I am going to do next so you get to see that as well. So I'm placing them between all of um, between the crystals. Oh, it's gone.
and you can do more than just one beat you can absolutely do one you can do two you can do three beats however you would like if you're doing more dramatic like we say your nails price of twelve dollars fifteen dollars or twenty dollars there are different there are all different for the it's weird sorry my alarm i should know it i know why we have that though do you know oh i think it might be all the time like that it's time for us to pick up our kids but we didn't realize that we don't need to somehow it's still there this one is super cute so um And on the end, usually when I finish, I usually add like the bigger crystal stones, however you would like, and then you gradually getting from the bigger one to the smaller one. So I do, I pick the smaller ones and add more beads in it to just make it look a little bit more like standing out because you have such a really strong and nice background. And this is something that you can do and you can feel good about adding crystal on without your crystal will take away from your background happy with this we are going to clear this one for 60 seconds so adjusting them make sure you're happy with this and all the beads is staying where it's supposed to and adjusting everything before you cure make sure the client is whole still so then all your crystal will not shape in in different direction and using a piece of paper again if you don't have the gloves on make sure you get your paper towels that like a smaller piece and then wipe up underneath and on the side so then it's just keep the shape nice and precise hey Whitney how are you thank you live us Daisy the black bottles is amazing. I love the black bottles. It's fast, quick, easy. Okay, go on to our yellow ones. I don't know why I go to yellow one. I keep forgetting. And of course, our condensed blue gel. This little bestie will hold your crystal in one place. I'm going to use this one. And... apply them all and tie the nails because I'm gonna do a diagonal design on this one I'm gonna do one side this and then this one I will do the other side so then we have different uh, look the clients don't want right in the center then you can do it on the cuticles area or on like just like angle of your designs however your clients would like we absolutely fulfill their request and go ahead and using a no wipe top coat just get the part on the side this one might be i'm gonna do this one with rose gold and i'll do the other one is obsidian should we see the obsidian though if anyone see i'm really obsessed with that obsidian as well it's just fun to work with all right so Let's go in with this beautiful nails. We can do, oh, this is super cute. You can do a contrast colors. I would do pink and yellow, it looks cute together. However, this could be ship changing a little bit. So we do a diagonal, you can go like from here all the way down. This is really cool, you can place however you would like it. How everyone doing so far with the contest? I'm excited to see all your beautiful work. I 
ini and all the starfish Ta -da, right there so when you do charms and crystal placements here the cool tip and trick <coughs> excuse me if you like any of the um, charms and like all fonts and the clients love it and then you just place them however they like it first and the, you can fill in the crystal between that so if the clients have a preference of this crystal colors you can add it on after that i would add cool great can i get that color maybe that pink that way okay Ta -da. great hey i said i'm gonna do rose gold and i didn't do it huh did i then you said to do obsidian the next one but I just say that I'm doing uh, rose gold, and I have rose gold on my side. Can you believe it? I forgot it. It's okay. There's always a next nail, so we can do. So you see that how I like my charm, you place them randomly, like make sure they go in the way you want it and all your clients want. And then after that, you can simply fill in your crystal between the charms to make the charm, it looks like it's more of um, really cool. So then now you're gonna do is getting and you place them between crystal and charms and then also you can fill in So you still see your rainbow scale, but also you have a contrast of the colors. It just, uh, Seen Flower, hey love, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. It's so good to see you. Then you like the new set, you should do it. It makes the wigs is fun and you should. If you like it, do it live, it's too short. Here's a tip and trick too. Don't hesitate to get your nails done, even if you have a short nails or long nails. You know what, because you your nails is already is the free marketing for your business. If you are doing a C clients, I would say like this, just be honest. In my opinion, don't make it excuse. Like said, oh, I can't wear long nails when I walk. Absolutely, I can wear long nails. But it's just only in my personal experience. But however, here's a tip and trick that most successful. I never not wearing a set of nails, even though if I have to take a longer set to doing a shorter, I still have some cute, crystal placement even not all of them but I would do on my rings fingers this attracts the most sales services for us everything pretty much I do on my nails the clients want to get that and they see me doing it and it will last so long um, and they see me how much I work they so like so they say, okay Nancy I want that I want exactly what you like and if you any of you who is my clients watching now thank you so much for the love and support they're also even watching my tutorial too, so 
is amazing. Uh, so don't hesitate to wear a set of nails, even the simple. Do not not wear anything. Do not let your nail naked. Just my opinions. Um, but do it or not, it's up to you. But it's so the most of the business for our business for so many years, be honest. Uh, and everything you wear, you attract your clients and because they see you wearing it, you are the real samples for them. So they don't have to see on the pictures, they're not even seeing on your posts, they're seeing you wearing it. You believe in what you're doing and you love what you're doing and you represent your business. So do wear it because if you come to work with your naked nails, with your nails really messing up, like two weeks growing out, cuticles just really is like messed up and the nails broken or chipping off is really it's okay it's none of the clients business but it's just affecting like if you go to the store um, nowadays when this pandemics we don't repeat how people was like look at that but they don't come closer to you than it used to be but they still compliments from far away and they were asking for the business call they're asking for social media so then they can absolutely come and see you um, so like I would say like this you know you think oh they're not gonna care but guess what every hundred people you get to see them you will get one new customer trust me it works always so if you like thinking that your nails is like is getting your way things again that's my tip and trick so that's why I never go like a day without the nails I would be when people in the gas station want to go like for instance, if the pumice doesn't work, I go in, they see the nails and hear the business call, come visit us. They come right away. And it was like, next you see them like, I just met ABC, you know, your staff or people is from the gas station. I love you guys work. So here you go, this nail. So I'm gonna kill this for 60 seconds. All right, so, um, no Nick. <laughs> Live I just put something on like or I would do this two nails so when the clients stop doing it trust me so many clients so many clients um oh thank you Christina so many clients like they came in console oh I just want really simple nails I just want long coffin solid colors and when they came is probably nine out of ten they changed their mind they said Nancy is that too late to add some thing on my rings fingers I want so then you can show them the option of different uh, different displays that you have at the salon you can get like a different uh, designs and and a nail art for them like for instance you can sure did you have anything in your mind you said like I want something like this I want something is really simple like this it's just really pan or even I want something like fusioning because when they come and they see your beautiful wolf displays at your place they were like oh okay I think I want something because they see you weighing it and also they see you doing it so it's different from them like imagine it on the social media they can absolutely see you in person you can consult them and like person they say sure if you would like to get fusioning like this and if you do two nails, that will be like a fifteen dollars. Or like say, if they want this one, which is I have the clients. I have I did three sets like this when they came in to see us, um, and they change their minds and want these nails. Which is I wear this set, and even I go to store, you know, gentlemen, like the guys will stop me and they can I take a picture because I want my girlfriend to get the nails like yours. So I got stopped so many times with a lot of different bling nails I have on. So the clients came in and they see this, they immediately change their minds and want, I want this one. And this one would be 20 to $25, they don't mind. It's like, wow, I love it. And when you're wearing it, I, I know that I can wear that too. Well, it, it, different in the different professors, like professionals, like if they are in the medical field, then they might do encapsulating like this, I'm sorry. If they are in the medical field, they can you can encapsulate in underneath. If you're doing heart gel, poly gels, you can do underneath or a liquid can powder you can do underneath for all the people who is the nurses or doctors, they get all this, but then it flats like stay capped in so they don't snack in their gloves or catching anything as their policies not allow them. So we have a variety of all different ways that we can able to fulfill their client's request. Hello Mika, how are you? Happy Monday. I wish I could hold this in person. But okay, I missed something. Okay, so the third nails right here. I'm so obsessed. I can't wait to see you name this. 
because this is for you. No one else but for you. So go into the fourth nails. Hope I catch you in hours. And then before I go back in again, and the next part will be really cool with our segment of liquid and powder. So let's go in with our condensed glue gels. And we are going to doing the top coat on the top. And let's do the no wipe. So I am going to using Oh, I really like this one, but I'm going to do one of this, one of this. Let do This is the newest one. So I'm going to do more of Obsidian. Yes, <laughs> that's right, Ariel. I know, just make sure you name it. Hey, wait a minute, we have obsidians on it. I feel like we'll make it for Ursula, just kidding. <laughs> And if you see any of the charm that you want to learn and you want me to do, let me know because some of them are so beautiful. However, I would like you to enjoy it. When you get it, you make sure you can utilize it, make it different. Because a lot of you think some of the design that the clients don't care for it because that's what you think, not what clients think. So I think I have some of the purple. Can you get me that purple? Purple, yeah the purple crystals I don't know why I give you a hard time because every time he finding a crystal for me I don't need it no more <laughs> Just give him a hard time.
continue with Facebook. Thank you so much. And we're going to be right back with Instagram just shortly for the next segment of liquid and powder with this really cool nails. So how everyone doing today hope you have a fabulous uh, Monday And the best way to do your beat is to place them between your crystals. So if you're happy with this, we are going to cure this hand under the LED light for 60 seconds. Let me wipe it off on the side for seconds before I cure to keep it the shape really nice and precise. Great, we are back Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Happy Monday and welcome to our live tutorial brought to you by Glissa Sister and Such and our dedicated team. Thank you so much for everyone for tuning in. If you haven't seen me answer your question, just please um, bear with me. I will get to your questions shortly. So before you do just adjusting, make sure it looks good before you place them under the LED light. Hey, Skin Savvy Cheeks, how are you? Hey, Whitney, thanks so much for tuning right back in. Happy Monday, everyone. So I did finish like four nails, three nails, four nails. And here's the three, four nails. We're gonna do a precision glue, and then after that, we're gonna move on right to our liquid and powders. And we can do this ombre look with the um, rainbow scales to support all of you who is interested in, in the liquid and powders, and you can able to achieve this with no problems at all. So that is the. Uh, one second, I'm gonna move this one on the side because I have a lot on my front of me right now. I'm sorry. Okay, here is this one on the side. Move that one there. Here. They are stay right on my side so I can get it without is uh, interrupt for all of us. Okay. Let's go in to do a uh, precision glues for this one. So that's now it's really nice. Open this. This one is one of my bestie on the station that I'm using for crystal placements. With this, you and your clients can feel the clients feel so much happier. And It's okay. 
You just see it, huh? I have all the crystal on. <laughs> Do not be uh, frustrated because... <laughs> You do need just a laugh, so then you feel better. <laughs> it's okay. Don't make your Monday to be really miserable because I spill some crystal. Sometimes things happen and life is difficult because we're getting really angry easily. And it's just we don't know how to handle it. Just laugh. Because laugh... <laughs> It's just nothing but at least we we'll spill crystals, not spill something. You trust me, when I go travel, here's a story from my personal. I travel and I pack all my crystal for special for the shows and I say, okay, I'm gonna rock it, the show's gonna be great. Guess what? By the time I unpack all my crystal from box to box set, it's all blended together. It's like a mega mix. Guess what? Instead of sitting there and crying, <laughs> where's my Facebook page? Did you just move it away? <laughs> It's okay, get let me so I can see Facebook. <laughs> so instead of it there, they become a mega mix and I don't know what to do instead of sitting there and crying. Um I'm just make the best out of it. Just use mega mix crystal and make the best designs out of that mixing box. So now well at least the nail will not mess up and I still have precision glue on my hand. I am going to feel all of this. Check first each time you use you just use a little bit. And it's okay if you accidentally get a lot in that. Try not to go on the top of your crystal. You can be on the top of the charm. Here's a question and a suggest tip and trick. Um, thank you, Live Vast, for one of the videos you were sharing it too. Uh, apply the top coat over the crystals. Hey, I got something on this. Uh, not, I'm sorry, take it back, not on crystal, on the charms. And, uh, this will, let me close this first. I'm gonna show you. Uh, over the charm, but not on the crystal, because if you apply it over the crystal, then it's gonna take away from the shine and a cut of your crystal, your charm, your chains. So the charm, you can absolutely go along with that and cap it with, instead of if you're using your no wipe top coat, the brush might be too big. But this precision glue is, Tag free, so then you can absolutely apply on this to prevent from toning tarnish. Really, really help the charm to stay nice color until next like appointments when the clients come back. So now, because I applied it and I can see some of the extra precision glue I have on, so do not care yet. Just using the twin tip brush or the light brush that you have and blend this, the excess precision glue. Uh, my hand is okay on the, on the center? You're fine. Okay. Blend this and make sure you blend it out nicely so then this looks nice and prevent from like lumpy bumpy. All right, I think it's good. I am going to gear this one for 60 seconds now. Move on to the next nails with precision glue. It's already stay really concrete already. However, it's nice because sometimes the clients feel the like scratchy. Um, I'm gonna using a brush again because I get the little shells right there. I'm gonna cap that. All right. Make sure you cap it. Avoiding touching your crystals. I'm gonna do them all because then I'm gonna go in with my needle parts. My needle, my needle parts is my faith because it will really seal in all the gaps and a cracks of your crystals. So with this precision look, you can easily find from our official website, aglitzedsessionsearch.com. Also, if you are on Amazon Prime, you have a Prime member, you can easily get this from Amazon with our condensed glue gels and precision glue. You find if you can type in like on the search bar with like glitz accessory and such, or you can type in with the name precision glue or condensed glues on both website or Amazon. 
you won't find our products on Thantix on the both of their page and you can feel really ensure feedback you know sit back you and your clients who feels really happy with have this is on it's really does the work but for instance if you I forget like the beads right here if you want to add the beads on just put a little bit of your condensed uh, precision glue here it will do a trick for you so now I'm gonna close this I just close that brush on the seconds like on the other end take this off and then I can use this along with I feel scratchy right here I feel that your clients will feel it also with you it's amazing how this oh my god yes can you feel that and after you cure that I mean they feel it in and you still feel scratchy right you will make sure you ask the clients it can you feel it because she's the ones you're gonna wear the nails for like the next few weeks so you'll make sure that your clients feel good about that and if they feel still catching on something you will get in right away you can feel in for her and then I'm gonna give it a quick swipe using my twin tip brush somehow it's crash and you open it back in thank you so much Instagram for coming back with me and also remember that I just put my precision glue here for instance if you want to get one more beads on it it's so convenient you can add it on or if you want to add a smaller crystals you know this the precision glue can really like back you up and is there you go here this one for 60 seconds this one I coat all of my charms already now I'm gonna seal between the edges of the crystals I feel scratchy right here right here right here this is so freaking addicted because then I feel so good and after we finish it is the clients feel so good they are so happy and wearing it for like months well of course if the clients getting a new set they come back in a month because the month is not gonna be a feel because they all throwing out and it's not gonna balance the nails anymore um, so just for the tip and trick if any of you are doing a liquid cream powder and you're doing a touch up um, there are a different like a time frame it touch up for you if the clients come back in two weeks it's called touch up two weeks but if the clients come in three weeks they're a different price for the touch up in three weeks because it's gonna be more work for you and it more works to be neat to get involved into that touch up well not touch up with the crystal I mean with the clients doing a liquid and powder when they come back I did the brush on this one already, so I feel scratchy right here. But look at this, this one look like a tutor or so. Are you feeling better now? Mm -hmm. I don't know what's what happened with me. I love to be I don't quote myself as really artistic. I just really like see myself as really creative. I like to be doing something fun. All right, good here for 60 seconds. I can't even paint. I have to be honest with you, but I'm not because of that. Then I feel so bad about myself that I can't draw it for you. Hey, but I can draw it on the nails. I can't draw on the paper though. Just don't, you can ask anything with nails, but don't ask me to draw on the paper because that's gonna take me maybe another course of learning <laughs> Vicky I think can paint you can paint it for us hi Zoe how are you oh skin service chic I did this love I using this newest collections of the foyer you will see it I'm gonna go to the second sections now I use this and then chant for foyer so I did a different background of like I did yellow backgrounds or purple background. They also came with like uh, uh, 10 different colors. Let me roll this one. And you can see the ombre look. No, just question for me. Just um, do it at me. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. Why is, is 
it doesn't stay on, stay. Can you do that? I love about this because it's ombre and live rash get a good question. Live rash, you um be careful what you ask for, you might get it. Yes, thank you so much, artist. You said foy. That's why. So I use this. They're so obsessed. I don't know which one I'm using. I'm using purple. <laughs> I said there's so many cute ones. So I did purple right here, love. And I did the pink, purple, and like have coral ombre, which is, I guess, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. No, this one. Huh? This one. Doesn't matter. It looks so good. And then this one is this one. Oh, okay, good. That one. And then one more somewhere. Oh, right here. So, skin shabby cheek right there, love. That's what I'm using. Ta da! Four different designs, and I'm going to do another four different, three different ones, four different ones for our liquid can powder now. So, this is the newest collection, and it's really cool on sale because you get the special promotions with your premium Chan Foyer. So, check them out and 20% off for you, for all of you. I don't know where's my other pieces. Oh, probably this is my pieces here. And I need another one of the pieces right there. Oh, I have three of them here for me to be ready. All right, I'm so excited. All the nails is finished. And definitely you got to name it. Doesn't matter how many times you name it. Hold on, which one is go first, second, and third, and fourth. So the next one I am going to do is um, one of my nails. Where's one of my nails? Under, okay. So I did this with short nails for you to see it as well. And this one is really stunning at using liquid and powder to ombre that. So this is the crystal placement on the clients, even you doing on the liquid and powders or is uh, weaver gel, I mean the poly gels and hot gels. You can absolutely use this. And we'll put it in on the size for seconds and let do liquid and powder on another two here let me show first sorry okay this one second this one third so make sure you check out the post later and name this because make the best name win the giveaway again all the way until the end of august i'm so excited okay that's one let put on on the size i hope you really enjoying this one and let move on to liquid and powder now is as the bonus nails for monday hope everyone have a great day if you feel like your day is crap don't worry because guess what tomorrow is a brand new day so it's only it can be crap for one day one week doesn't matter a whole month but it can't be crap for a whole year so stay positive let's move on to the nails this one right here i have one already just for your preference and we're going to do I have two of them. I did purple and yellow. And then I have two more on my side right here. Of course, I'm gonna move my, can I move this one? Liquid and powder. So I have my liquid monomers on the side. And I have all the powders right there. So I'm choosing this funds uh, liquid. The powder is OEM 61 from Chizo Nail Art. So if you have something similar, you absolutely can use it. It's just funds. I just want to pick all different nudes every time we're doing so then that way you have a preference of what you would like and I have this one right here um, gonna be ready for a foil but I'm gonna do this using my number 14s I'm using a lot of number 14 for longer nails and a bigger nail bed and 12 for the smaller nail bed and the shorter nails so here is Yeah, okay, hold on. So I'm gonna do this one. Um, the reason I apply the clear coat just to have a little foundation on it, so it absolutely will hold my chanfer voice really well. So it's not, it's eliminating of the part that is gonna peel off on the nail plates or the tips. Just really thin coats, you don't need to have a whole 
thick coat of it. Just let it set. And in the meantime, with that one, I have another nail that is already dead and it's set for me. So I am going to using the chanfer foil. Doesn't matter whatever chanfer foil you're using. If you're using premiums, you care for 30 seconds. If you're using um, the chanfer foil, if you're using the white bottle, you care for 60 seconds. If you're using is the black bottle, which is a premium uh, Iho chanfer foil gel, and you care this for 30, 30 seconds on this and 60 seconds on this. So however you would like, I have the 30 seconds a lot on my seeing the clients and in a live stream because then I can get things uh, done a little bit faster for you and for the clients. So apply them on, on the part of the clear powder I just apply on and clear for 30 seconds. And this one, this setting is setting really good though. Uh, let's see what colors we are going to do with the purple one. Maybe we're doing green one. And we have yellow one already. Okay, so that two is pink and blue we're gonna using. We have yellow and purple. So we're gonna go into with pink and kind of a blue green ombre. So I'm gonna do that one dry, so I'm gonna apply this in my premiums I hold chan for foil and clear for 30 seconds. This one, the one I just applied the clear powders. Make sure you're done on the end too. Sometimes I forgot on the edges and then you don't have any gels on it, it's not gonna clear for you. So what I mean it's not gonna chanfer for you. Like right in the middle. Sorry, here you go. If your hands have an oil, like my hand, if I put gloves on, I rub it my gloves, but if not, like sometimes I feel so like oily on my fingers, then I using the tweezer do it, and this is so handy. Done. Great, so now do not forget to apply the top coat on first using no wipe top coat to protect this or else your monomers will absolutely uh, wash this foil off. So I'm using no wipe top coat here for 30 seconds. Thank you so much, artist. Yin Yin Yi. Did I say it right? Just make sure that I. Okay, so no wipe top go to protect this. Here for 30 seconds. And then this one is finished after you key in 30 seconds. And then we're gonna apply that one right on the top. I feel my hand is like have a... Hey, me Tammy, how are you? Happy Monday. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for always sharing it for us. That would be awesome. It's mean the world to us. And then a lot of other friends, bestie, in the same like, industry can able to get support. And if you have, you know, like all different tip and trick from the basics to advance, cool good so make sure you apply the no wipe top coat on i have one bottle is open so then i don't want to steal it hey keja hey love how are you happy monday all right here for 30 seconds and then now we have that nails is the first nail that i did is ready for me it here it protects really well so now i can using a monomers again and with liquid and apply another thin coat of clear just really thin you're gonna cap it later after we ombre it but i'm just doing it really thin coat of clear and pick up my 
pink powders whatever pink powders you would like animal nude colors or whatever you would like just a little bit of both of yours um, and of your foyer design and then just uh, keep your blood brush flat like parallel with your nails with the surface of and blend it like kept floating pull it down you see what I mean like like hold on let me move it on the side so then if I do it like this and instead of using a 45 degree angle on the nail so guess what so then it mean all the pressure is going on the tips of your bristle you might pull all of the powders away so it doesn't look fading look so you want to keep it flat you see that how this one the whole entire the belly and body will pull it for you so it give you a really blending look and pick up the second bead if you are like really comfortable doing one beat, great. If you're not sure, you can do two beats. Once you can help for to really like blending perfect with your uh, ombre, and the other beats will help you with the cuticle. The second beat, which is I'm using right now, you can perfect your cuticle area and then blend it in and we're going to do a crystal placement on this one see a little bit right there some fur right here and you can continue doing all 10 nails as you prefer and then after that make sure you cap you cap the clear powders and you don't necessarily have to do all the way to the cuticle you can do it right here where is your ombre start because when you start finding them you don't want to accidentally taking your beautiful fading ombre look that you've been working hard for it might because with the e-file or with your either your emerald board file or your e-file might take it off because that part is really uh, blending thinner so i'm gonna guide my powder the beads is all the way to the center of the nails to build the structures. Tomorrow is gonna be on the short nails. I'm so excited on both short and long nails. So for all of you who have short nail clients, also long nails clients. So we here to support you all. just trying to be perfect and like okay let this one set and then I move on to the next one all right put on the side this is still wet so we're gonna have to wait for that one Let's go into the second one. I already have a top coat and I cured it for 30 seconds already. Go ahead and using really thin one smaller beads of your a clear powder and cap. Go ahead and cap this. You don't have to be really thick. You want to make sure you blend it because you don't want them to be really thick. All right. I'm gonna do hey Connie thank you so much 
Hope you are enjoying it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Your voice is so soothing when you're working. I, I know. Is it? You know what? It takes me a lot to be to get me really angry though. Just let you know. <laughs> it's just tip and trick. It may be sometime thing difficult. I'm turning to be really goofy because you know it's it's just up to us to being really like angry. So I'm always like this. My voice like this. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the uh, tutorials, Connie. You too. Okay, so now we'll go into the second beat. And I would say, you know, if you are doing liquid and powder in an ombre, just don't be too hard on yourself. You, I like sometimes I find myself like it's really depend on some colors. Okay, so I'm not going to lie with all of you because you see something that we feel we couldn't achieve because sometimes it social media can make it look so shame because then you look at somebody beautiful work for a few hours and we feel like we can't never achieve it you absolutely if you spend whole day yeah but i mean i want to share with you on live so you can all we can all do together learning tip and trick so um if you can't get perfect beats you know on the ombre one time is okay just work on it slow i would rather you do smaller beats so then you can control it so much better than instead of you have one beat and then you get you couldn't get it and you get frustrated and then you get really like discouraged by and getting it you will really like me at first when i'm doing a liquid and powder you have to see my work i was literally sitting there i remember as myself almost 20 years ago as a first client who is willing to be my model well because he was in the school so then we're allowed to doing like um the customer service as a student and i feel so bad for her because her now it looks like a mountain i'm not going to lie to you because we all start from somewhere and i was sitting there i don't know i should crying or i should like okay i'm gonna get better in the next one or she didn't cry but of course you're still really disappointed because you're expecting your work to be like someone's will be done it for thousand of thousand of time i have that and i always like every day that i try to give the goal for myself if like for instance my skill if i want to learn good at ombre i still you know like it really um learning every day sometimes it has fell for me with a lot of different techniques i'm not giving up i keep learning it again so just do not like it's if you feel like you can't get the ombre or liquid and powder in one beat do not make yourself really shames on it because that's how is the progress of learning and you know better and better daily every day imagine it just think about imagine it you will get one beat done right and we think oh my god perfect good then what else we want to learn we're not gonna learn anything right because everything's become not um with it anymore like the same thing now back then why well, remember back then when i go to the first grade i feel first grade is so difficult for me i can't do a math and write but then when i go to the second and third grade so crap it's just so easy it's peasy you know but we because we already been to that so that's why we're seeing easy so we'll keep learning all right so i cap this so then it protect my ombre from you know a part of the ombres from a nude color to the chanfer foil part so i let it set clean my brush really well and shape my brush back into the normal and cap on so then that's why you protect it's really nice and moist until next time i'm using this so it never betray on me uh, make sure you get all of the all of your uh, acrylic remaining clicks or anything is in there clean up first good shape that and put the cap on the caps it really nice let me show you my 12 uh number 12 acrylic brush i keep the cap on when you open it it looks like a brand new one that's important because if we take care of it it will last you a long time also it makes your work so much easier it's will not gonna give you a hard time it's just hard to get the nails i mean the brush 
when you start ready to working with clients and make sure you have it like the cap down so this one will really hold and protect your brush without having any of the dust on um, this is my number 12 brush and you see that how I shape it is go back to normal it looks like a brand new one so when I'm ready to doing like a clients and this brush is really ready to go it's not gonna be like oh my god it's all the acrylics stuck on my brush and it's hundred percent cologne skis with made with the highest quality of the um, sable hair so then that way you can sit back and ensure your beats is going really nicely without sticking on the brush and it goes smoothly for you I'm really pleased with this my new set now I used to doing it like a little bit longer and now it's getting shorter because I get the beads and stay exactly where I want and it's never stuck in my brush at all. It doesn't matter how many brush I try. So you gotta try it to be experienced because I can talk all day, but you know, it's just have you be the one that's have to experience it. So this one is still, this one is kind of dry now. I'm gonna shape it. If you, um, if you missed my video that I was sharing and how to shape the nails, you can absolutely watch on our tutorials on um, IGTV. There are different series, like episodes, that's talking about shaping, how to remove crystals safely, and shaping the nails, and ombre. There's a lot of different tips and tricks there. Let me know if I miss anything that you want to see. We're absolutely going to have that in schedule and fulfill your request. I'm really enjoying it for every day with tutorial. It's just really, really passionate about it. I hope everyone's um, enjoying it and hope you get, you know, like... Hope it's helpful, you know. If if it helpful, even one tip and trick for you to help you like doing much better and faster with your with your work. Do you know why? Have you ever? Have you ever? Okay, so here's my experience. I my personal experience. Have you ever feeling like really discouraged at work? Have you ever feel like you really want to give up? Have you ever feel like you feel doesn't matter how hard you try and how hard you work is it doesn't turn out the way you are expecting have you ever had that I have that a lot okay and I telling you why if you tell a comment there and say yes so then I will tell you why absolutely um, and it's happened to me all the time it's not only regular like whatever you try it doesn't work Okay, so excited, we're we'll doing to Crystal Quaisman with our new charm. So excited, okay. We using, uh, Mika, lock, um, turn, when you, you get out and then close all the apps, uh, close all the app and get back in. Oh, Melly, thanks so much for sharing. I start, I start in June doing nails and I feel like giving up. Great um, comment. What do you feel like a part of you want to giving up though, Melly? May you share with us? Why are you feeling giving up? You feeling good with your techniques or the customer um, or building a customer and then your skills or how, so what part that make you feel like you're giving up though? So condensed blue gel, this will be, is the bestie of the crystal placement. I love this. If you don't not sure what part you're gonna do it, I would apply and tie the nails, but really thin coats, you don't have to do it thick. You don't wanna do too thick. Too thick is gonna flood your crystal. Too thin is not gonna hold your crystal. So I would say balance. Like those crystal. The new, I, yeah, I think so. You know when the reels has come? My reel doesn't have v, uh, uh, audio. Mika has it, mine doesn't, mine is like nothing. So I don't know how that works. It's probably because updating a new software. Just can't get the ratio of the click right all the time. Um, is, that is a great um, statement right there. Melly, do you do a lot of clients doing a long nail or short nails? 
so no wipe top coat on the top before you do crystal so then this way you can able to get your crystal down it's gonna grab your crystals i'm gonna do this few of this different colors oh my messing up stuff hey my randy hey don whitney lorenas hello thanks so much for tuning in uh, Melly, if you're doing a short nail clients, you're doing just doing a little at a time because sometimes we get a big, a longer nails, you get a bigger bit. It's really, it's really um, kind of discourage us from getting like a right ratio because. Oh, nice. Okay, let me do this one. If you're doing a short nail or long nail, it doesn't matter. You try to work with the smaller beads first, but Melly, the smaller beads is will help you really like support you and rescue you from a lot of others um troubleshooting i would get a smaller beats first and work with this it will really change the game for you you know see that how if i get the video editing i will make it looks like a one beats perfect so you will never think that i doing so many steps to get one beats perfect right so that's the same it happened to a lot of us when watching all the inspiration of video the short video five minutes how can you able to five minutes of whole entire works of like an hour and an hour and a half or two hours of beautiful work so is i would using a lot of videos for like a fast quick 15 second look now reels came out it's make us even look shame. How can you 15 seconds gonna do a work of your an hour work? Just my personal opinion. It's not no offense on anyone. It's just that how I would like to share with beginner. Um, and I would focus on doing a smaller beat at the time. You will get the ratio right. Because if you think you're getting a one beat, and that's mostly happened to a lot of like beginners because you try to accelerate a lot of techniques which is that you can because i you know be honest i see um a lot of my students who are just starting with their nail careers and a year later or uh, one year they're getting really good and fast okay which is great it means that they're just focused and they don't really like they're using a lot of different tech tip and tricks and experience to inspire them but they don't want to using as the intimidating them so get a smaller beat first and then try that and see how it works Mally. i hope it will really sell that um does the prompts because um if you're giving up well it's your own choices if you're giving up anything else you do you're going to be feeling the same thing because everything is start from beginning and you are really nice and fresh from June. So I think it's gonna be really cool for you to continue your journey. Hello, you okay? Melly, if every time you try to give up, you come into my tune into my live video, I'm gonna tell you to do not give up. <laughs> keep, um, Keep going, love, because it will change the game. Look, you are starting June. Look yourself back like this. I would suggest like this, okay? Yes, that's what I do for myself. This is just my personal experience. I would get the little piece of note. I have a, the board that I put my goal in there. So like say, for instance, if I do, like now I couldn't get my ratio good. And for instance, it's right now August. Like, for instance, if you give yourself two months, like September, you should be able to control of your beats in like short nails. Try that, it's really work, it's motivate you so much. I have my little board that I will tell, put my goal in, you know, what day, what month, what is my goals gonna be, and I go from there. So sometimes if I push myself too hard, then I will review it and say it good, but then I get the new 
um, motivation plans for myself but I do not give up I just adjusting it with how like if you feel like in September you did it good with ratio and then you move from a short nail to the long nails just do like that that it will help you because I would write on the board I have it in my office there um, and it's motivate me so much when I look at that because sometimes think it, I'm more of the you know like a visual person so I seeing it is help so much so hope it help that is one of my tip and trick um, why does my background look so weird it's kind of blurry though everyone seeing okay there so next one Because sometimes if I don't write it down, I might forget. So I did have that in my, so every month I have refreshed with that and I have a go on different day. And for each day, each month, what is my achievements that I want to achieve? If not, then I have to review it, what I have done. Like say, if I get the ratio is not good, then I say, okay, I need to stop not really like pushing myself to doing a long nails with one beat. I should do a long nail with two or three beats, you know? There's nothing wrong with doing them more than that. So then that will help your ratio a lot. I have the same issue when I was before. And I, oh my God, it looks so cool. And I can, it looks so simple and easy on YouTube and IGTV. And I can get that. And then we get it in a real, like, hands-on. It's like, crap, it doesn't turn out the way I'm expecting it. And also the ratio in a different powder, different company. Um, and liquid uh, is going to make it different too. So just... Just uh, keep in mind that. So I'm going to do a condensed glue gel and no white top coat. Can I get that nails, please? So I have yellow. You should get the chair right there. And then the green one right here. Ooh, we have two set of naming on that. And this one is, I'm really into this one. Maybe I should do that one. Right in the middle, maybe? No, right here. Uh, go silver obsidian. I'm gonna use obsidian on this time. Can you get me some of the comments? Did I miss any comments on that? Check on the comments for me, please. Thank you. Oh, please just give each other advice. Oh, nice. Wait. Tip and trick. Yes. Is absolutely shabby cheek. I love the advice. So keep in mind, do not give up because it doesn't matter. Like I say, someone will quit to being doing beautiful nails and hair because they think it's too difficult. And then guess what? If you go into the nursing program, guess what? You're going to give up faster. Uh, trust me. So anything will take time for us. Anything will take a dedication for us. Keep practicing. Do not give up because we are attempting to give up more than we're trying. So I would try first, so I won't regret. And if I try and try and try, it doesn't work, then I'm seeking for the uh, solution. See, why is that? You don't see me. Sometimes I get a set of nails is so bad. I think I was expecting something and then it would turn out really bad, but hey, I'm too hard on myself, I guess. But the clients love it. They don't have any problem with that, just me. So. It mean we're growing. 
when you feel that you are like that feeling like oh my god i didn't think i do it good it could be better you look at the picture of crap i have nails and one's crooked a little bit crooked the other is like uh i don't like it it mean you notice that and you're like oh i would do even better next time you know Ooh, today is mermaid themes monday so hope this set will really cheer everybody up sometimes mondays can be really powerful in the day sometimes monday can be really stressful in the day so it's up to you to choose your monday my monday is every day is a nice day even though it's a crappy day because is it's just like what how we feel you know i guess just me it's fun so a lot of um the, you asking for this obsidian uh, mix I love this one it's like something something about this that is really cool though I'm not afraid of to try something new I afraid of I'm not trying it because then I will regret it and I say oh I wish I tried this obsidian it doesn't look normally like a lot of others metallic art. I feel of love the losing opportunity to try it instead of Hey, do you feel sometimes I'm goofy because I keep talking and I don't even see the screen of what you comment? Probably you're asking I didn't even answer. And then here, he was trying to help me with all different support. And I keep talking. Didn't get to see on the screen though. But I really want to get the good footage for all of you because in some day the clients will asking your mermaids like design i hope that will help you and or inspire you some ideas for your clients can't wait to see your beautiful work and remember to check out our um contest we are looking uh, we are expanding our team and we're looking for three ambassador and two influencers so more information on the post if you can get chance you know check them out on that influencers uh, contest and also you can DM us or email us if you need any any support any help or any questions we here to answer and to support you all and have fun everyone good luck just think of it it's like a fun do not stress yourself out because it's supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be a lot of fun it's not only fun but a lot of fun okay i think i'm good because i'm stop dressing them really cool now and i cover whole entire moments and you might like oh no nancy good here this one I don't like that one though Ta -da. okay now here this one for 60 seconds I would wear that nails that's now make me feel like this nail is so simple all right so the next one we are going to using the Oppo Oppo it looks good what else we're going to do next is condensed blue gels Should we do weaver gel on there? Weaver gel? Okay. No. Should I do weaver gel? Mm, it will just overtake everything. Yeah, weaver gel might overtake everything. You are right. That 
continue with our theme of our um, rainbow. Oh, I want to do one of Neon's ones. So condensed blue gels again, everyone. I want to, hey, Sojo, hey, thanks so much, love. Hey, Candy, hi, hey, thanks so much, artist. Hey, to do now, thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, love. Happy Monday. Hope you are enjoying it. Some idea for your mermaid snails. And I'm gonna go ahead and using the no wipe top coat. Sorry, I'm open it, so I just I'm gonna make sure I don't like tear it. I'm gonna do one neon nail for all of you here. This is a second um, section. If you are missing our first one, feel free to tune it in for the first one, which is really fun part of it. Let me do one of the neons. What do I have? We already have it. Let me do a, uh, what do I have? One right here. Okay, I'm gonna do the pink one. Pink. What do pink one? Pink and purple. Uh, can I have the gold huh? beads? Beads go. Uh huh. No, uh, I mean frame. I'm sorry. Oh, let me do this. I'm gonna angle this one for you, so you get a variety of different look. So I'm using all my charms, which is the uh, charm look. So I did like two set today and like two segment today. So really hope to support you all. If you are, hope everyone have a great Monday. If you feel your Monday's crap, don't worry. I'm here. I got you. Just hope it cheers you up for a day. And um, think of sometimes you feel really discouraged, do some nail art, practice some more. You find yourself love in there. You're loving of what you're doing in there. Like that's how I uh, therapy myself a lot. Something if I'm really like sad, upset with no reason, you think change. You know how we think change. You have periods and then you will get crappy and then your mood is not good. Like so sensitive, you name it. Everything could like trickle it. So do not because of that and make you feel like you hate what you're doing. You get frustrated. Take deep breath. Get a couple nails out and play with what you have. Do a couple nails even though it's not crap, but you feel yourself into it and then you calm yourself down and it's really, really balance yourself out. So that's gonna make your day even so much better. Just that is my personal opinion, tip and trick. But everybody doing different things, you know? Who's that charm? Huh? Who's the charm? No, I need the... So I need the. Uh, it's just only. Oh, yeah, thank you. I said, wait, where? This has some frame that they put in. Huh? I'll keep going. My frame? Where are my frames? I didn't have. Oh, I didn't see a horse in there. No. Someday I feel really crappy and like a lot of things doesn't turn out the way I want it. But hey, it's a part of life, you know. The same with weather. Some days it will be nice. Some days really bad. It's had its own mind. So we just have to like balance it because we can absolutely control with it. I'm just getting put all my anger, my sadness in the nails and that's the best thing to do calm 
the stress that without spend a lot of money you know if you go to shopping you might spend a lot of money but you see doing some nails you're gonna create more nail art for your salon and the next day you never know your beautiful nails will be requested by your clients and guess what life's gonna be good because oh my god I love that design can you do that on my nails bam 10 20 30 dollars maximum you can go to like or more on the nails and each of the service you added on like 20 or 30 dollars of each client if you have five clients a day guess what you make 150 dollars easily extra on your tickets of the day i'm just talking about just nail arts no crystal placement or anything because you were sitting when you was like sad and you create something that clients never seen it before and they seeing it and they want to get it done because they never seen it wherever Thank you so much, Charity. Thank you, love. I really appreciate it. Is this all for you? You know, we wouldn't be here without every single of you. So this is all for you. I got to be here chill. I'm like really therapies, balance. And then I create nails for all of you. Nobody's but you. Right, so I couldn't I use all the charm the big one the smaller one I try to get all different design for all of you because you never know the clients asking for neons I got neons for you the clients asking for different color I got that color for you I don't know I want them all for you you got 30 seconds 30 seconds I'll be right back I will no go nowhere but stay here be back with me, everyone. Continue with our Facebook. I just find out that Facebook only lets you do in stream for four hours. And I think as long as we stream on Facebook, I'm like three and a half hours or whatever. But I love it because, you know, sometimes it's long, but you have every footage you needed it just in case you need to watching them again. We got you. So I'm continue to put my beads on. And if you like the design, you can absolutely just cure it and precision glue on them and then you're good to go. But if you are like, want to make it a little bit more dramatic, you can absolutely um, add some more beads on along with the charms and your chains. And you can add it on. The best to do is to add on between the crystal and charm to fill in all the gaps to connect them together. 
I like the the beef to be. Hello Instagram, welcome back to our live tutorial. We're going to the third like streaming today's on IG. It's still the same ones on Facebook. I'm so glad that I can able to do two like a training segments right now for all of you. So just some nails, uh, some idea for you to doing it with the clients. All right, so if you're happy with this, I add some for Instagram, just tuning in. I just add some of the beats during the time that we are tuning back in. Uh, I just add the beats between the crystals and the charms to just complete them, you know, like you feel them in. But you feel like... You don't want to have a beats on, absolutely it looks great. You don't have to, but the clients that want to add it on, you can. And I'm gonna wipe it off on the side to make sure that it keep nice, precise, the, the shape of it, and move the crystal a little bit, adjusting it, just make sure they are in the frame of the nail so you won't catching on the edges. So here, this one for is um, 60 seconds. We're gonna doing all of that. There's so many different charms on our five dollars nail uh, corners because you asked for it, and here you go. We have it all for you to support all of you, and uh, check them out. And also is special going on twenty percent off of all of most of the products except the treasure box. Treasure box is created to have a lot of different cool um, value in there for you. And there's several different theme for your um, preference there. This one, the first segment we have. And then the second one, let me wipe this off. This one, two, three, four. This is the first one we did. You got to name this, the set. And, and on this one, I am going to using a pre-season glue for all of this. This first segment we did it with a chanfer for if you're doing a gel polish or if you're doing a liquid can powder and you apply gel polish, that's how you're doing on it. This one is that second segment that I did for the liquid can powder for all of you who want to do encapsulating your is rainbow scale. Um, there's one more? That is? Right there. There are three of them. I thought it was four of them. Okay. Not four of them. Three. Four, right there. Four. Yeah, I know, I remember I did four. Hello, so so. hey, how are you? Hey, Grace Beauty, thanks so much for tuning in. And we are going to apply the pre-season glue on this. first top which is there's dual and the other end it was a brush so each time you're using each time you're using you're gonna just squeeze just a little bit but do not squeeze them out yet like squeeze it out yes wait until you check let me move this one on the scale for one second I'm gonna do this one I'm gonna check it feels right here is really like scratchy and I'm gonna squeeze it in you don't need a whole lot to go because the little go a long way. Just little uh, precision glue glow go a long way. And there's only few in the gaps and the cracks of your crystals. This one's really cool. Mm -hmm. This one you absolutely can really upsell your surfaces of between your uh, $15 is at least minimums for the nail design because you did uh, three different techniques over here. You did encapsulating your foil and then you did the ombre 
and crystal placement so this crystal placement at least like $12 so this set nails it, you can come by it's gonna be $20 per nail at least so at least five dollars for the foil, five dollars for your ombre and then ten dollars at least for your crystal placement especially you have a really fancy of centerpiece right there so clear this one for uh, 60 seconds go to the next one this is already done but this is a double secure for your clients nails and they feel really good when they leave your salon you don't have to worry about it catching on the hair or on their clothes anything else they do it in life and then if you want to prevent from tarnish on all of the charms using this to fill it in you can absolutely using a top a top coat it's getting the brush it's too big and you might like brushing all over your um crystal which is you don't want to you don't want to destroy the size and the cut of your crystals so gently using that uh precision brush from a precision glue to cap that all the charms and chains hey betty nails how are you marie hello how are you thanks so much with me thank you love and go into the this one i don't know i like this one a lot this one it looks like more like a mermaid nail mm -hmm. you think so i love this cool obsidian if any of you are afraid of to do in the dark obsidians like metal this is the best i am so obsessed with this because this is contrast with the color it doesn't matter you can do with like yellow you can do with pink you can do with blue you can do with like white clear however you want ab ab will looks really cool too such a really cool contrast look i'm gonna i'm gonna just seal the frame for this centerpiece this centerpiece is everything it's the newest one you can find it in our five dollars nail art corner check that out that is special design for all of you to support and you get um uh, oh on the top of that you also um get 20 percent off from uh the total as well on most products just except treasure box and the class we don't have a class right now but uh check them out this is i don't know i like it it had a little bit residue so i'm gonna wipe it off with the alcohol from my wax tips here for 60 seconds on this nails going continue to our third nails ah fourth nails i'm sorry so wait wait third. anybody have another one i'm so sad that today's is all about um is rainbow scale foil crystal placement and is metal metallic art charms so either you get like look at the collection the charm one and charm two they both have a lot of cute charms in there i'm so obsessed with this they are so so you see that i'm feeling in it either using the needle if just in case you feeling in the gap you can use it to seal completely your like top of your charm to keep your charm stay nice so the colors stay nice without tarnish here this one check um oh i'm so obsessed with this i want the whole set like this i might do my nails like that remember we're talking about this first first six months we're going to the third one now do not let your nail naked even though look i have this is a set simple it's on earth i doing even though I'm busy, I couldn't get all the crystal placement, but I never get my nails naked. So I have to have something. Then the client seeing this, they want, oh my God, I want this. So I usually do this one because this one you hold and you do a lot of nail arts for the clients. The clients say seeing it, so it's so tempting and they will get in their face all the time because you doing like you're using your brush. It doesn't matter whatever you hold. If you're holding your brush, you're holding your acrylic brush or you're holding anything like gel if you're doing a gel it's like polishing with the clients they're seeing that so you can't never go wrong with this even on my toes as well so i'm going my little ones i did it long uh before i go live i want to show you this is getting short nails this is for short nails clients that you're seeing it you can still create something that's really cute and fun even my toes i always have a gel polish on my toenails seen the gel polish i love regular nail polish regular nail polish i'm really obsessed with that as well it's only when it's like I want to change up my nail polish in like one day um, but gel polish is going a long way 
and I have on my toes and I do crystal on my big toe every time the client see me sandals that knows all of, of you in different state but me um, in Florida I'm wearing sandals I'm showing the clients the minutes I show them or they see my toe they will do exactly what I'm doing so my petty kids instead of just like um, with three between like you can get it the ticket at 35 45 55 now is you add the gels on it and you add crystal on so your pedicure pretty much go into a hundred dollars the clients like so happy not only they have gel polish in their toes and it's last longer and also they have a crystal placement so if they see me do with the chromes on the top too and then crystal placement so then here you go your services your upsell service of so much more instead of your just like a pedicure as usual you get the gel polish as on you get your crystal placement add-on and you had your chromes add-on so the tickets can go up to like sixty dollars or more on the top of your regular um, pedicure spa pedicure services and also it depend on the salon location so it work and it's happened to us all the time so i'm just sharing my uh, experience personal experience to to really to share with all of you so then we can all learn from each other Hey Nail Techs, how are you? Hey Grace, Lily Nails, hello, how are you? Thanks so much love for tuning in. So this is the second segment that we did with liquid and powder. Um, can I get the um, alcohol right there? And let me recap what we have done today. Such a great Monday. It's a long uh, tutorial, but I can't help it because I want to share with you how we can do so much want like a box of really cute trendiest for it. you can turn it so much with different design and also I'm wipe it up and see how shiny it is you can never go wrong you see that how I place different crystal on it like from a really light one to really dramatic one it works so well all right so I did use this newest rainbow scale oh the collection is popping out can you put that back in why it's just keep popping out because I pull them all out all right here you go so there's so many different colors I think I did quite a few and I did maybe eight of them I did eight of them I did eight of them so then doesn't matter so I did the first segment I did I put the gel polish on for all of you doing gel polish on the top of liquid and powder or dipping powder or poly gel or hot gel so I put that on and I did half of it because I want to see like 70% of it shampoo and then 30% I want to put crystal on it so I did the purple one it's really cute and the second one I did um, the green one which is this one and then neon crystals and the third ones i did this one really adorable and you can do it with your any any crystal you want to add it on so i did ruby rose but you can do like pu pumpkin spice is good too the pumpkin spice uh i think it's wherever it is i live it can be really good on this because it have a little corals orange it's however you want to do is you will never go wrong with that this one i'm using cover pink like pinky pink and I did with the ruby rose as well and the obsidians um, charms right there and the next ones this is the first segment we did for the gels you know polish and going to the ones with the liquid and powder so I did four of this too and I using it the same technique if you miss it you can absolutely re watching them up to the lights end and also on our IGTV there are so many of tutorials for the foil ombre technique and this one I'm using the same four different not same different four of the foil in here and it's one with the blue green and one with yellows and orange and one with purple and pink and this one it purples and pink in here and then we're using newer charm a lot of questions were asking for new charms how you place on the nails or if it works perfect for the nails they are the new ones that we have it in this one the news are so stunning check them out and see what we can do for now we're going to continue to doing a lot of like centerpiece with the charms and to support with you to to bring it a different like unique look for you 
uh, to your station so the class always get something new and you can incorporate with uh, metal art which is I'm using from obsidian to gold to silver and to rose gold so then to help support any every single of you who is using different charms can you see the on the stream because mine is so blurry though because you have way too much going on uh, I think okay so that is a set okay let's see if it works now Hey Zoe, thank you. Hey Beauty Salon, Tim Out Nails, thank you so much for tuning in. And I think it's blurry though. Everybody can see it. So this is a, it's a first, second, second set, and then a first set with this, and then you get to name them for tonight. And the May, the best name win the giveaway for tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna announce the winner. So for last. Saturday the winner is um, let me got it the again okay, so here is the set that we did today four nails and no four and four bonus and then one more bonus which is this this is for short nails so let me do this one to under look right here for one more time to view this Which one do I do first? This one. And this one. And this one. And this one. Ah, okay, I got it right. There you go. The second segment with liquid and powder. All right. Live bras, yes. <laughs> so I will, because we're long stream, I just want to... Um, to just recap this, this is a set on Saturday, and we did this beautiful set for all of you. And we're gonna, uh, we announced the winner already, but then I'll just recap it so just in case that you're all just tuning in. And congratulations to the winner. I'm looking at the notes right now. Um, can I get the notes right there? I am, the winner is Live Ras. Congratulations and congratulations to all of you who even like a really creative thing of name of this set. And the first name is, the set is name is Sweet Love. And the number ones for the nails is Cherry Cheesecake, which is I love that. Well, I love cheesecakes, I don't know. And um, it's really cute together. And then, The second nail, sorry, I was have a note right here. The second nail is Nights in Paris. Ooh, that's really romantic. And then number three is Cherry Chapstick. That is really cool. <laughs> and number four is Butterfly Kisses. Congratulations to the winner and thank you so much everyone for like events really creative to enter but do not give up because we have so many giveaways on ahead. Tomorrow we're going to announce the winner of giveaway tonight which is we have a set using the rainbow uh, scale and um, I did all every single of nail with different looks so hope you're really enjoying it you might find yourself in some of style you like here so I don't know either you like a big centerpiece or you like a smaller centerpiece and if you like diagonals and here's a short nails that I did earlier before I go live for all of you who have short nail clients so you know imagine it just so you can do it for the big toe too you know mm -hmm. that's really cool um, and also here in the set so all right everyone i am really appreciate it and hope everyone really enjoy monday like mondays or well, i don't know still the rest of the day Just hope you're enjoying it and if you have any questions please feel free to let us know you can reach out to us at info at glitzassessoryandsuch.com and reach out to our team and dm at um uh, on uh, Instagram and Facebook and the team will try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you need to get immediately assistant, you can also email us at info at glitzassessoryandsuch.com and the team will be in the office will get all of your requests and inquiries to you. And special 
sales for 60,000 followers, celebrations um, sales right now and is going on strong. 20% off most of the products and uh, except the treasure box and the classes. We don't have a classes at the moment. Uh, in the future, yes. Uh, and um, the newest collection of $5 charms, uh, $5 nail art. You can find a lot of, like, if you are a beginner, so you're looking for something is really cool from us doing and have tutorial for you and you just want to check something out, that's there for you to, to um, check them out. And then there are so many, like over a thousand of products you can see in there. Some of the products that you really get, really, really, really like, and you're not sure how you can able to do a designs with this, make sure you contact us or DM us, or, or at your convenience, you can view it 24 seven on our IGTV or on our Facebook, also on our YouTube. And you can searching, you can find a lot of different series episodes that we're doing tutorial from basic to the advanced, from simple crystal placement or simple foil, transfer foil, tip and tricks uh, from acrylic to dipping powder. You can view it all on our IGTV, Facebook, and YouTube. And we hope every single live tutorials will be in is uh, something is help and support to you. If you haven't seen anything you would like to learn and to see, make sure you comment below on the live or on the post, or you can email us at info at glitzaccessoryinstructor.com so then the team will be able to um, fulfill your requests. Thank you so much, everyone. I love you all, and I'm really, really grateful for every single of you. I will definitely going to see you tomorrow, and then we're going to announce the winner of today's set, the naming. So don't forget to name the set today after we end with the live on our post. So then you get chance to win the mini giveaway. So all the winner, please email us at info at glitzaccessoryandsuch.com so then we can ship your prize to you as soon as possible. Thank you. And we've been doing it for like uh, two weeks. Two weeks now is really cool. Everybody will get chance to win, but you have to like, um, don't give up. It's an important thing that you think that this set, you didn't get it because we have so many of different comments. And don't give up because the giveaway is going on until the end of August. So you will, if you don't get this one, you'll get next one. So don't give up. And I'm having so much fun today. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, everyone. Hey, thank, thank you, Eric. Thanks so much for tuning in for all the times. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Fire. Live Ras, thank you. Make sure you email us, love. Um, Zoe, thank you. Pippi, hello, thank you. Thank you so much, artist. Hope you all enjoy. Hey, Wanda, thanks so much. Finally, I got to look at the screen. <laughs> I love your beautiful work. Checks out all of um, our followers. If you are in the screen and connecting, make sure you connect together because they also really dedicate, you know, mail text and they all doing such a good work we got to see a beautiful work from all of you and thank you so much for short sharing your your talents and you know it's all your beautiful work um thank you everyone if i get and say hey hey joe hey thank you for tuning in um you going on live live us no i'm not going on live tonight but i'm going live earlier tomorrow so Monday and Tuesday, my schedule changed, so I go in live earlier. So guess what? Because I can do a little bit longer tutorial for all of you. Uh, at the moment, my schedule changed, but then, but Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, and Saturday, I do it later. So then on Monday and Tuesday, I can do a longer streams for all of you. And then we can't wait. Hey, Genesi, thanks so much. Thank you so much, everyone. I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow. Remember to name this. It doesn't matter how many sets, because you can name, like, so many. Don't give up. Just, you can name. We don't look at the account. We look at the name. So keep in mind that. It's the, the more, like, creative you have for the name it is. Like, you know, it doesn't matter. You can name hundreds of them there. We love you all. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Enjoy your Mondays. And have a fabulous Monday, everyone. Love you all. See ya.